Okay, Italian Marco Cecinato has defeated Novak Djokovic at the French Open in four sets. He was two sets to one up. Djokovic roars back, um, wins the third six games to one. The fourth set goes to a tie break. Cecinato wins the tie break. Um, amazing story. Uh, really lowly ranked qualifier. Um, he's reached his first ever semi final um, at the French Open. Novak Djokovic um, looked outclassed actually. When I, the bits, the bit I saw of it was was the final set, the fourth set, um, and it was literally game for game. They were going at it end to end. Djokovic's forehand completely let him down. Um, one of Djokovic's finest weapons completely didn't work, and it went to a tie break. And in that tie break, Djokovic had chances uh, to win the set, and take it to a fifth set, and he blew them multiple times. He also has to save like four match points um, before finally uh, giving in, but both players looked exhausted. Uh, the fourth set lasted over an hour. Uh, half the match was basically the fourth, I think about half the match was the fourth set. Djokovic still recovering from that elbow injury. Got Andy Murray, who's not fit. Roger Federer has given um, the French Open a miss, so it's really Rafael Nadal's to, to lose. But Marco Cecinato, yeah, he has a very, very good chance of getting to the final. And no one expected this. It's a true underdog story. It's a true, true underdog story. And Novak Djokovic, okay, that third set he was dominant. But the other three sets didn't look as dominant as he has done at the various open tennis tournaments. You've got the Australian, the US, the French and the Wimbledon. He didn't look dominant at all. And the bits that I saw, he, he, he looked very ordinary um, at times. Brilliant at others. Very ordinary others, so he, he he doesn't look 100%. He doesn't look like he's fully back to speed after that elbow injury. And the same is going to be true of Andy Murray as well with his hip. Um, but Djokovic out opens the door, not only to Nadal, but to this guy, Jetsch and I. Um, there's a lot of very good clay court specialists who've got this far. This guy is almost an unknown. The bigger names will not know anything about this guy. Um, and he could make it to the final. And it, this is a story that should... Be remembered positively. Djokovic, the world's greatest player at the moment. He really is. If you take that elbow injury out, I think he, he, he right now, yeah. Um, Federer's obviously given this tournament a miss. Murray's not there. Nadal, uh, this is his tournament. He rarely loses at the French. Um, but Djokovic, as an all round player, I think is probably the best player there is. Beaten by a qualifier. Um, but this French Open has been full of surprises, both on the men's side and the women's side, and in the doubles. Um, a lot of surprises coming out of this. This is probably the biggest surprise Roland, Roland Garros has, has seen for quite some time. Anyway, uh, I hope Chechenato actually gets the final. It would be a great score if he does. Oh, this is my first video on the French Open. Um, there's a lot been happening at the French Open, but I haven't seen enough of the tennis to really give... A fair reflection of what's going on. I haven't had the time. I've been at work. But catch the end of this. This match was awe inspiring. Um, I actually thought Djokovic was was going to nick that fourth set, and I felt that if he did, he would go and win. Because uh, Chechenko was looking out on his feet, but he refused to give in. He refused to surrender. He'd had a big wobble in the third. He'd been hammered in the third. He refused to give up, and he basically stuck in there and uh, forced a lot of unforced well a lot there was a lot of unforced errors from Djokovic he also really put Djokovic under pressure on Djokovic's serve he was winning points on Djokovic's serve and forcing Djokovic to use his second serve a lot because he was feeling the pressure and he was he got his win on a return from a Djokovic serve that the winner that wins the match is a is an amazing shot um i don't think the commentators gave it justice on the tv but the way he got that in in the in the far in the corner um, minimums. Um, absolutely amazing return of serve to win a match. And at the end, the emotion that came out of him was, you know, there for all to see. Um, but hey, he's, he's beaten the world's greatest tennis player. Two more matches, and he can lift the French Open title. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. It's a great story. Let's hope it continues. And let's see if he actually wins his semi final. And if he goes out the semi final stage, hey. He's had his best tournament ever. Uh, he's, raised, he's raised his profile. Um, the, the attention on him will be raised. Um, and it could 
be a very, very positive thing for him. So we'll leave that there. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.